Microsoft recently relaunched their AI chatbot Copilot, and it used to be known as Bing Chat. Because of Microsoft's partnership with OpenAI, Copilot has all of the same features as ChatGPT's paid version, which is GPT-4. The difference is Copilot is completely free to use. And in today's video, I'm going to do a comparison between the free version of Copilot and the paid version of ChatGPT. The goal is to show you that you don't need to pay for GPT-4 in order to get the same benefits out of it. But stay until the end of the video and I'll show you how you can use Copilot on your phone completely for free. So the first thing you want to do is you want to navigate to copilot.microsoft.com and when you get here, you'll be prompted to enter in your existing Microsoft account, but if you don't have have one. You can create one completely for free and then you can log in and it brings you to this web page. Once you get to the main screen, there's some prompt ideas that you can use. Some of them are highlighted here and if you wanted to click on it, it would immediately launch into the prompt that you want to use. In the top right, there are plugins. And while there aren't as many that are included in the paid version of GPT-4, I think it's pretty great that Copilot are offering some simple plugins in the free version of Copilot that you can use. The common ones are Instacart, Kayak, OpenTable, and Enhanced Search. But what I really love about Copilot compared to ChatGPT is down at the bottom you can choose a conversation style. And so here it's the default, which is more balanced. But let's say you wanted to ask Copilot to write you an email, you can select more precise. And if you wanted to generate an image, you could select more creative and it'll be more creative in interpreting your prompt. So the beauty is you you can change the behavior of Copilot based off of these toggles and it will influence how Copilot responds, which is something that you can't do with the paid version of ChatGPT. I want to show you a couple of demos on how Copilot compares to ChatGPT. In a previous video, I had shared how you could leverage ChatGPT to create flowcharts instead of making a cell phone. And here was the one that it brought up. And if you want to watch that video, I'll definitely link it at the end of this one. Putting the same prompt into Copilot, and I selected more precise. You do get the basic steps to create a flow chart, but it doesn't actually do the whole process for you. But it does provide you with this image, but if you click on the image, it's just a basic image of a flow chart. It doesn't allow you to actually make changes. We're on a chat GPT because it connects to a backend service called Whimsical. You are able to make edits and improve it, save it, and even use it just offline in your workflow. While chat GPT completes the task, Copilot does as well, although it doesn't provide the level of of detail the paid version of ChatGPT does. So within GPT-4, I, I put in a simple prompt asking it to create a picture of a woman inspired by a wizard costume. I wanted it to be a fashion shoot, gave it specific parameters around the, the filming and the millimeter lens look. As you can see, the response that I got was one image that looks pretty good. But with the same example, you can see Copilot does a much better job than the paid version of ChatGPT. And you can see here in the bottom right hand corner, it indicates that the images are powered by by Dolly 3, which is exactly what GPT-4 uses. So if I click on the image and I open it up, you can see it's much more of the style that I was looking for. So this is a perfect example of how the free version of Copilot is actually better at giving you what you need than the paid version of ChatGPT. But I do want to show you one another example. I took a link from a recent article from The Verge and I put it into ChatGPT and you can see I'm on GPT-4. And I had asked it a few times to summarize the page, but it couldn't complete the recording. Quest. While it does give me a rough outline on what it thinks it is, it doesn't really do anything. It is just redirects me back to the article. Putting the same request into Copilot, you can see it summarizes the article no problem, gives me all of the main points succinctly. And it also links to some additional articles at the bottom here if I wanted to do further reading on my own. But if you are using Microsoft's Edge browser, Copilot is already built right in. So here is the same article that I was using uh, for the examples previously. If you look here in the top right corner, you can see the Copilot button. So if I click on this and I ask it to summarize, as you can see when it finishes, it summarizes the article no problem. So if you're a power user, or you're using a Windows PC, or maybe you're using a Mac and you want to leverage Copilot, you can uh, use the Edge browser. You would log in again with your Microsoft account and you can leverage Copilot anywhere you're surfing the internet to summarize articles, extract information, and get answers from the web without having to navigate away from the current web 
page that you're in. So as you can see, in two out of the three examples, Microsoft's Copilot performed better than the paid version of ChatGPT. It's really a no-brainer if you're looking to get into using one of these AI chatbots in some tasks, even making things easier, and you don't want to put up the upfront cost. You can create a free Microsoft account, leverage Copilot, and you're getting all of the GPT-4 benefits that you would be getting on the paid version of ChatGPT. Now I want to show you how to get Copilot for free on your phone. What you want to do is you want to navigate to your app store, whether you're on an Android or an iOS device. You want to go to the search bar and search for Bing Chat. Microsoft has not rebranded Copilot yet on the app stores. They're still referring it to by the old name. You'll know you're in the right place when you see Bing Chat plus GPT-4. When you download it, you want to make sure that you sign in with your Microsoft account or you can create a free one if you need to. And you'll see under the Copilot feature, there is a toggle for GPT-4. You want to make sure that's turned on in order to get the full benefits and all of the features that are available. Now, if you wanted to use just Microsoft Image Creator, you could go to the bottom bar of the app and click on the Apps button, and then you can click on Microsoft Image Creator, and then you can start generating images directly on your phone completely for free. There is a paid version of Microsoft Copilot for those that are interested, but it's bundled into Microsoft's 365 Enterprise platform, which is used by corporations. Copilot is leveraged in many different applications, so you can use it in PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and all the other applications that Microsoft bundles in. They also offer something called Copilot Studio, which is their version of creating custom GPTs, which is something that the paid version of ChatGPT allows. It's not here in the free version of Copilot, but if you are part of a company or you are a business that has Microsoft 365 as part of the enterprise solution, that's something you can leverage or speak to your IT department on when they're going to be bringing that functionality forward. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.